for my sister. Man, she's not here today. She's got a project going on. And it's a project. Yeah. <laughs> Let's pray. And uh, brother Gary back then going through the same thing. Amen. Amen. So it's just a lot going on. Pray for them as they try to relocate their beings. Mm -hmm. I hate to say relocate, but they my decision. Well, Amen. Man. Amen. Amen. We want to talk a little bit about God being our refuge. Mm -hmm. God, our refuge and protector. Amen. God, our refuge and protector. And we're going to the 46th Psalm. We've been dealing with the Psalms quite a bit this year. We just almost all we've been dealing with. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I did two series out of the Psalm. And uh, but God he lead me back to the Psalms. Mm -hmm. 46, 1, 2, and 7. God is our refuge and strength. Amen. A very help in trouble. Therefore not, will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. God, our refuge and protector. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for America is that they will be saved. Brother, in my heart's desire and prayer to God, to this church and other churches, is that you will be saved. Look at your neighbor, let's do our little drill, brother, sister. sister. My heart's desire my heart's and prayer to God, God. For, you for you is that you, that you will be saved. Will be saved. Give God a hand. Amen. I made a pronouncement almost 20 years ago. God is looking for saved people. Well, and here we are these many years later. I'm still making the same pronouncement. God is looking for saved people. God is looking for his loyal saved people. Uh -huh. And his devout saved community. Uh -huh. For we are the fruit of his hand. Well, Amen. Amen. We are his people. Mm -hmm. God is our refuge. Therefore, he will fight our battle uh -huh. to protect his own. Mm -hmm. God will fight our battle even when we don't know that he's fighting. Well. For he's a battle like us, mm -hmm. as old folks used to say, mm -hmm. in the time of a battle. Well. He's a war horse. Mm -hmm. In the time of war. Well. We celebrate Memorial Day mm -hmm. and Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. And it is right that we so do. And we have a lot of you in this church. And we salute every one of you this morning. Mm -hmm. We celebrate Memorial Day for those that have given the ultimate sacrifice. Well. Untold numbers have Die. Mm -hmm. And we celebrate Veterans Day to let those who have served know that we have not forgotten you. Well, we commemorate and we celebrate. Mm. But God is our refuge and God is our strength and we need to remain on the right side. Whatever the right side is. Mm -hmm. And we can read the Bible and we can go to church. And we can discern what the right side is. Yeah. So that God will be on our side. Yeah. Amen. He was on the side of the children of Israel. Uh -huh. 
People say God is no respect of a person. That's only when it comes to salvation. God does respect mm -hmm. those that try to live for him, those that serve for him, those that come out in the storm and the rain, knowing that around 11 o'clock the rain was going to stop. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. God has a special blessing. Yeah. Even for you. Uh -huh. He was on the side of the children of Israel over the Egyptians. Uh -huh. And he brought the Israelites victory mm -hmm. over the Egyptians yeah. at the Red Sea. Yes, sir. Not only that, but on another occasion, that was a major battle and God confused the enemy. He confused the Philistines mm -hmm. so that they turned on themselves well, uh -huh. and they killed their own brethren. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. God is confusing us now. Well, And y'all might not agree with me and I'm not going to dwell on it, but uh -huh. I, I'm telling you, God is in the plan. Yes, uh -huh. sir. All of America right now. Yeah, yeah. And he said, how could Trump defeat 16 other people? Mm -hmm. Without one reason, it was two men in the race. <laughs> and the other reason is God is in it. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. God is going to bring America to the point where they are going to say, I surrender. Uh -huh. They have a father. Wow. Save me. Uh -huh. Man. Yeah. And judgment yeah. is on the way. Yeah. Man. Don't let anybody fool you. Judgment is right around the corner. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right for these United States. I don't mean fire falling from heaven, but the judgment of God is in the process. Yeah. Uh -huh. We talk about Solomon and Gomorrah, but we make Solomon and God, Gomorrah look like play stuff. Well, <laughs> huh? it. Uh -huh. yes, Solomon and Gomorrah didn't have the internet. Uh -huh. Solomon and Gomorrah didn't have the television. Uh -huh. They didn't have S SHO or whatever it is, Showtime. Uh -huh. huh? well. They didn't have HBO. Uh -huh. They didn't have all of this other mess that comes into our house. Well, uh -huh. Huh? Yes, sir. God, they didn't have pornographic stores all up and down the expressway. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we make we make we make Solomon Gomorrah look like small stuff. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Huh? Right. Conversion has found its way everywhere, even into God's church. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And into his pulpit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Conversion is everywhere because we have not allowed God to be our refuge. Uh -huh. yeah. We have not allowed God to be our strength. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In the Lord our right? Yeah. Uh -huh. We are dealing with circumstances mm -hmm. beyond our control, but we forget to bring God into the midst of our circumstances. Yeah. So therefore God is confusing us. Uh -huh. yeah. God made God is making folk say never Trump mm. and never Hillary. Well, uh, God is making those same folks take their words back and go out and fight for them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 How can a man call a man those kind of names and then come out and endorse it? Because he's not himself. Well, God has confused him. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> God has confused us even in other arenas. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all ought to say amen. Amen. Come on. amen. Yes, sir. People in liquor houses and won't go home. Well, yeah. Tell it. It's because they've been confused. Uh -huh. They think they'd rather be there than to be at home. Uh -huh. My Lord. Got wonderful children, got a wife, got a dinner waiting on them at the house. Mm -hmm. And they over there eating a bowl of rice with some messed up chitlins on the top of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Huh? Well, Talking about they having a good time. Yeah. Uh -huh. It'll be another two dollar shot. Mm -hmm. I ain't no such thing as a fifty cent shot no more. So. Well. Amen. We used to preach we had a fifty cent shot, but that, that gone by the wayside. Amen. <laughs> ain't the Lord alright? Amen. Amen. 
People in the crack houses, people uh -huh. down in heroin, they said the heroin use in America is greater now than it's ever been. And we thought between 1968 and 1975 that heroin was going to take over this country. Uh -huh. God got rid of it. Yeah. And now our generation has been so confused until the children of millionaires, mm -hmm. children who go to the University of Minnesota, the University of Ohio, are now shooting up mm -hmm. mm -hmm. heroin in their veins. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think they enjoy that? They don't enjoy not going home. They don't enjoy not going to bed. They don't enjoy laying up in a house with people and using needles for folk that you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. See, that's what's so tragic. Mm -hmm. If they had their own needles and everything, then you could just work on the, on the symptoms. Mm -hmm. But they're using needles from folks that they have never seen before. Uh -huh. And that's the reason the AIDS is so rampant. Mm -hmm. Amen. 